Hey guys, so when I first got into the hobby, I wondered if I could just feed all my fish flakes for the rest of their lives, but I quickly found out that nope, you need one of these guys to feed them as a treat, and especially if you have a betta or two, you might want to make these their staple diet. So definitely try to get some bloodworms if you can. These guys do go into the freezer. And the second thing I wondered immediately as a beginner hobbyist is how do I take these and feed my fish? It looks like they come in little blister packs and am I supposed to feed my fish all of this every single time? What's the, what's the mechanism or you know, how do I go about doing this? Now I would say working at a pet store did not really teach me how to do that at home because I would be taking care of over 40 planted tanks that were at least 15 gallons and there would be upwards of 80 betta on the betta rack. So in one day I would probably use at least half of this if not the whole thing or even more. And that didn't teach me how to, you know, make these cubes smaller somehow so that I'm not wasting one cube every time I feed my betta, which is every day, or that'll add up pretty fast and I'll be broke. Now these also come in um, just a solid plate instead of the blister packs that you see here. So if you have those, that will still apply. You just need to cut into um, little smaller pieces. And you'll figure out what I mean once you watch my procedures. All right, so the first thing here is that you can see my main portion is in a separate Ziploc bag than the small little portion. So I'm using one uh, blister pack. And if you have um, the solid slate, um, then you can just cut a little portion um, similar to the blister pack portion and put that in a separate Ziploc bag. And if you don't have these bags, then you can also use like saran wrap. Now what you want to do is have a clean surface. Make sure your hands are washed of soap. And then take an X-Acto knife and very carefully cut along the edge what you think is going to be a good portion for the amount of fish you plan to feed. It took me a few days to figure out the optimal portion. If you are a child, you should probably get a parent to help you with this step. If you're a parent, still be careful. Uh, <laughs> you'd be surprised. And if you're an artist and you're really skilled with the X-Acto knife, I am sorry, I am unworthy. After that, just put it in a container of any sorts. I use this little plastic Tupperware container. And you can put the X-Acto knife in it as well because it's probably gonna have a bit of like pieces of the bloodworms. When the food is this small, every little bit counts. You just wanna make sure that the cube is put back into the, its own Ziploc bag and then together with the main portion and then back into the freezer, it goes. So then you want to bring that to the sink and then get as little water as possible into it. You want to use room temperature water and it doesn't have to be dechlorinated. Now I'm using tweezers instead of the dropper tool that many other people use because the dropper tool tend to take some water along with it and I don't want this water in my aquarium, especially because these are nano aquariums and they can crash pretty easily. Plus tweezers are more fun to feed with anyway. that helped you out. I know I was lacking this information um, on how to feed bloodworms at home right at the beginning. If it did help you out and you enjoyed the video then please consider subscribing and liking the video. There will be more videos to come and don't forget to get your hands wet. Music